coming out. I can't see the back. A lot of people in here. Right? Uh, before I go any further, let me introduce you to the next first lady. introduce you to the next first grandchildren yeah. here. My son Dave is here. Yeah. And we got three more back east. And we got four more grandchildren five, back east. Five. five more? We have another one? I didn't know that. <laughs> Seven minus two is five. Is that it? <laughs> Math is not my strongest. <laughs> Um, we're going to be on a plane we're going back uh, to D.C. Uh, to be part of the um, final remarks in the impeachment trial, and we'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, and I just wanted to take this opportunity uh, to very sincerely thank the people of Iowa for your hospitality and for the seriousness in which the people of this state accept their responsibility as the first people who will be voting in the 2020 election. We have done, we have done well over a hundred events, we have spoken to tens of thousands of people, and I really have been impressed about how serious the people of this state are examining the issues and listening to the candidates, and I thank you all very much for that. Uh, I don't have to tell anybody in this room that the 2020 election is the most consequential election, certainly in the modern history in America, and quite possibly in the history of America. I'm not a historian, but that may be the case. And to my mind, this election is about two fundamental issues. First, it is absolutely imperative for the future of this country that we defeat the most dangerous president in the We don't need a president who thrives on divisiveness, thrives on trying to divide us up. And my promise to you that as president, our administration will bring our people together. Bring our people together, black and white and Latino, Native American, Asian American, gay or straight. We're going to bring our people together around an agenda that works for all of us, not just the 1%. And what that agenda says is that in the United States of America, health care is a human right, not a privilege. What that agenda says is that if you work 40 hours a week, you shouldn't live in poverty, because we're going to raise that minimum wage to a living wage of 15 bucks. What that agenda says is that in the richest country in the history of the world, all of our people who have the ability and the desire should be able to get a higher education regardless of the race. And what that agenda says is that unlike Donald Trump, we know that climate change is not a hoax. It is an incredibly dangerous reality for our country and the world. And we are prepared to take on the fossil fuel industry and transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. So tomorrow night is the beginning. It is the beginning of the end for Donald Trump. the beginning of the moment when we tell the billionaire class and the one percent this country belongs to all of us not just a few so i am here this evening with jane and grandkids and my son to ask of you 
that tomorrow night, please do your best not only to come out to caucus, bring your friends, bring your distant cousins, <laughs> bring those people you haven't talked to in years, you know, and get them out to the caucus. Because here is the simple political truth. And I say this all over the state, and I believe it to be true. If the turnout tomorrow night is low, we're gonna lose. If the turnout is high, we're gonna win. So our job together is to create the highest turnout in the history of the Iowa caucus.